Good morning. Good morning to all my dear students. Welcome back in your EVS class. I am again here to teach you a new uh, new thing in this new one more machine is left. Okay. So children, how are you all? I hope you all are good. Yes. Very nice. Children, very nice. So children, welcome back in your EVS class. And today, uh, before starting this, I want to ask you one question that what we have done in the previous videos. What we have done? Anyone remember what we have done in the previous video? Yes, we have done about the machines. We have talked about machines. The, what is a machine? What are the different types of machines? Yes? Okay, children. So, uh, you know one thing, children. We have talked about what is a machine. We have also talked about how many types of machines are there. So in your EVS course book, we have talked about, means in your EVS course book, five types of machines is discussed. Okay. So what were things we have done? Let's recap. Okay. So we have talked about the machine that is phone. Yes, we have talked about the phone. We have talked about um, fan. Cooler or AC. Yes. Am I cutting, uh, telling correct? Yes. And the third one which I have talked about the television. I have talked about the television. Okay. And uh, fourth one which I have talked about was microwave oven. Okay. Microwave oven. So children, how many only, uh, how much is there? Four. But I, what I told you, there are five machines we have talked, it's given in your book. So, what is the last one? What is the last machine? Okay, before telling about the last machine, I will tell you one thing which you all people do. Yes, which you all students do. Yes, I know you all do. What is that thing? Okay, listen to me. Everyone should listen to me very carefully. Okay, say children, everyone wants to play? Everyone loves to play? Yes? Very good. Every day in the evening you go to the playground with your friends to play now. Yes. So, when you wear your dress and you go outside to play, you play with your friends, you enjoy very much, you play different types of games. Yes. So, suppose uh, some of the friends uh, you, are, uh, you are playing catch and catch and you fall down. Okay, you fall down and your dress becomes dirty. Oh my God. Now what happened? You fall down, your dress has become dirty. When you will go home, your mother will scold you. Yes, your mother scolds you. Does it happen with you children? When you fall down, you play in the gray, uh, playground and you fall down, your dress becomes dirty and you are very scared. Oh my God, when I will go home, my mother will be scolding me. Yes. So, when you go home, what your mother say? How your dress has become dirty? How your clothes have become dirty? Yes. So, what she does? She washes that clothes. How to become, make that dirty cloth clean? What your mother do? She washes the clothes. Yes, children. She washes the clothes. So, now tell me where she washed the clothes. Where she washed the clothes? Clothes. Exactly in the washing machine. So, the last and the foremost machine which is given in your book and which I am going to teach you is washing machine. So, children, this is the fourth video of chapter number 10, Machines Around Us. Okay, this is the fourth video. Okay, in this video, I am going to talk about the last one, the last machine that is the washing machine. So, you all know what is a washing machine. Everyone is having at home. Everyone has seen the washing machine also. Yes, what, um, what is the use of washing machine children? Tell me. Yes, absolutely correct. We use washing machines that washing machine washes the dirty clothes and make it very clean. Washing machine. We use washing machine to wash the dirty clothes. 
So same thing what I said now when you see that your mother sees that you have fallen down, your dress has become dirty. She washes that clothes in the washing machine and it becomes very clean. Yes, so everyone is having that washing machine. And what is the use of washing machine? It also cleans our dirty clothes. It saves our time and it does not take any effort. Your mother will not, if she is washing by hand, it takes so much time to wash. The effort is also going and washing machine saves our time. Okay, effort is also not, uh, not needed. Okay, it saves the time, it saves your time in, to wash in the washing machine. It does not take any effort to wash and remove the dirt. Okay, so washing machine makes the dirty clothes clean. So everyone has understood what is a washing machine. So children, all the machines I have completed from this chapter. We have talked about what is a machine. A machine is a, uh, uh, a machine is a device which makes our work easier. Okay. A machine which makes our work easier. We have talked about the different types of machine that was phone, fan, cooler, AC, television. The third one was television. The fourth one was microwave oven. And the fifth one was, with the fifth one was, which I have talked to you just now, washing machine. So everyone is clear with all the five machines which I have talked now. Everyone go through the chapter, read the chapter again and again so that the concept of yours of this machines will be clear. Okay, so now everyone open your EVS course book. We will have a read from the book and also do the exercises given in the book. So come on everyone, take out your EVS course book. Come on. Hey children, so I hope you everyone has opened the EVS course book, page number 74. Page number 74, the topic is washing machine. Yes, washing machine. Okay, so in this washing machine, you see that in this washing machine, your mother, your mother uh, keeps the clothes and the dirty clothes becomes clean. The dirty clothes become clean. Okay, see the picture, you can see the picture that the dirty clothes become clean. So, washing machine, we use a washing machine to wash dirty clothes. Okay, see this is called the washing machine. Okay, your mother washes the dirty clothes in the washing machine. One more important thing, children. I wish I knew. A pencil sharpener is a simple machine. Everyone is having a pencil sharpener. Everyone uses that pencil sharpener. So, see this. Pencil sharpener. Okay? This is the sharpener. So, this pencil sharpener is a simple machine because it sharps your pencil. And this is also a simple machine. Everyone is having another sharpener. Yes, so this pencil sharpener is called a simple machine. Remember this children, okay? Good. So now everyone take a pencil in your hand. We will do checkpoint 2. We will do checkpoint 2. Everyone, everyone open, uh, take a pencil in your hand. Everyone take a pencil in your hand. Okay, so circle the correct answer. 2A. Many people wash clothes in a television or washing machine. You have to give me the correct answer. Exactly, we will use washing machine to wash our clothes. So, we have to circle washing machines. Everyone will circle that. Okay, the next one, 2B. We can watch news on microwave oven or television. Where do we watch our cartoons, movies, news? Television, yes. So we have to circle television. Everyone has, everyone has to do this, children, in your book. Okay. Now see this activity. Complete the name of this machine, then color the picture. See this machine? Which machine is this? Washing machine. Okay, washing machine. This boy is keeping the uh, clothes inside it and putting some surf axle and he is going to wash. Okay. So, this exercise, this activity you will do as your homework. Everyone will write the name of this machine and also color this picture very nicely. All the students should color this picture very nicely in your course book. Okay. 
so now see children summary we have talked about machines around us there are five types of machine phone fan cooler ac television microwave oven and the last one was washing machine okay we have all done all the five machines now everyone take a pencil if you want to write the answers in the book itself you may write it i think and reflect what do household machines run on what do household machines run on many household machines run on electricity you can see now that there are many machines used at home so what that machines run on they always run on the electricity yes so many household machines run on electricity okay next i discover anything that makes our work easy is a machine yes absolutely which makes our work easy is called a machine find out about the various machines around us around you so you what is your work children you uh, run around your house see that what are the machines present in your house and write the names of that according to me i have written washing machine microwave oven fan or cooler etc but you have to also write on your own see in your house what is present which machine is present in your home and write the names okay next is i link maths fun count the number of machines in your house say their names and describe the work that they do you have to do same thing you will count the number of machines in your house say their names and describe the work they do okay tell your mother to listen to you next one is the wall clocks in our houses are also machines the wall clocks in our houses are also machines find out how they work so the wall clocks have batteries inside them that make them run how do the wall clocks uh, work they work on the batteries they have batteries inside them so that they can work okay i extend cars are machines which take us from one place to another find out if they can be run on electricity yes yes children cars can be run of electricity they are called electric cars the cars which run on electricity is called electric cars clear if you want to write down you may write the answers in your book itself we should not depend too much on machines find out why i have already discussed this questions earlier that why we should not depend too much on machines because it can make us lazy and inactive okay it makes us easy lazy and inactive so everyone write down this in your course book itself all the students write the answers in your course book okay after this children coming with the class work so everyone open your class work copy of evs everyone okay so chapter number 10 right today's date machines around us this is the class work you all the students will write this uh, question in your evs course copy and very in a good handwriting okay number 1 what is the use of washing machine washing machine is used to wash dirty clothes yes okay washing machine is used to wash dirty clothes number 2 how do wall clock work the wall clock work on batteries the wall clock work on batteries okay number 3 name one simple machine you use daily just now i told you and showed you now what is the simple machine which you use daily children pencil sharpener yes pencil sharpener is a simple machine which you use daily correct so everyone should write this question in your copy very nicely and see the homework children do the activity of page number 74 in your book and color it okay just now i told you na this activity you have to do it in your book itself all the students will do this activity in your course book this is your homework okay and write this question answer in your book copy everyone with a very good and nice and writing all the students should write this question answer very nicely take your time and write nicely so children i hope you all have written this answers so read the chapter 
three to four times understand what is the use of each machines and try to find out the names of the machines and what are the machines present in your house say the name aloud and do this activity okay okay children thank you so much stay at home stay safe do your homework do your class work very sincerely bye bye